about uh, five or six metres around from the goal. The ball back into play. It'll be Scott and uh, Big Nolan. Knocked out actually by Nolan to Henshaw over. It goes to Sutton. Now he's got a clean go here to get the ball out wide. It's a bit long for Schimmelbus. And there we see going after his boys. He's kicked it out. He's forced it out. Now he's forced it out by uh, hand. And uh, could have easily been a kick out that time. It'll be a throw in from that North Melbourne half back line. There's Martello in the front. He got the knockout. Oh, Blight missed that. Picked up by Manane. Up towards Moncrief. The danger play with uh, with Glenn Denning. Actually, Moncrief punched it out for Henry. It's smothered again by Glenn Denning. Back to Scott. A left foot. Three goals to one. 19 points. They were seen in action again. Moncrief got that out to uh, Hendry. His kick is smothered by Glenn Denning. And now what's got a left foot snap, a magnificent shot for goal. And Hawthorne score. 3 1, 19 to uh, North Melbourne. One goal to eight points. And we've played 16 minutes into this first quarter of the 1978 Grand Final. Back to the centre now. And Mick Nolan, the centre bounce. This time he's doing battle with Walder. They're not going to wear Scott out today. They're going to keep him fresh. Ball bouncing badly at that centre bounce. Back to Matthews and trouble. He's upended. Picked up by Big Nolan looking there uh, for Byrne. Oh, he got one behind the ears. A go for Hubbard. It's going to an open goal. And he's put it through. That's their second goal. Good goal by Hubbard that time. And extra good play by Mick Nolan to get it down there. So we see the score. There's the replay of it again. Only a free kick to burn that time against Robert Hubbard's picked it up well and of course he's put it through for a goal and we see the scoreboard now Hawthorne three goals 119 to North Melbourne two goals 2 uh, 14 and there's no doubt about it only five points the difference at the 17 minute mark in this 78 grand final still anybody's game North Melbourne's both goals kicked by their two rovers so some tightening of the Hawthorne defence needed in that area Scott getting the tap out Cowton underneath the ball Russo's hand pass or he feigned one now he goes for one taken by Adlett Adlett Fast to get a kick, boot to ball, Moncrief, oh gee, it's touched through. It would have been a goal, but he had to go for it, so you can't blame him. He almost took mark number five, and there he is, Michael Moncrief, leading goal scorer in the game to date, with two quick ones early on in the game. Ball back into play now, out towards half-back. Is that a mark taken by Keith Gregg? It looks as though it is. Umpire playing it, right half-back. North Melbourne skipper Keith Gregg. DP Domenico underneath the ball for Hawthorne. Misjudged it. Wallace does it superbly for the Hawks. He's gone for a short pass up towards Martello, who missed the setter. Keith Gregg won't miss it, though. Henshaw, the recipient of that hand pass, in turn back to the centre of the ground. Hockinghorn tries to twist the ball away, but I think it's a mark. Who's brought that one down? Tanner, their centre player, who is a re-inclusion in the side today after injury. And Xavier Tanner now to half forward, looking for Burner. That's a couldn't bring the ball down though, and a big pack of players developing. Umpire Della coming in, deciding to affect a bounce, which will take place centre half forward for North Melbourne. McCann and Scott tapped out, taken away by the Kangaroos up towards the forward line. Kelvin Moore should be first to get there and taps it uh, well, almost deliberately over the line. Now it's going to be thrown back into play. A couple of North Melbourne players were appealing for a free kick, and I thought Moore himself could have made a better effort to do something with that. But well, that was his decision. It's now McCann and Scott. Scott over the back. Taken away by Boys. He pops one for his corner. Eventually has a shot for goal. But marked. Oh, almost marked in the goal square by Payton. That was a bad blue over to Knight. Was uh, quick thinking on his part, though. It's all North Melbourne. And Ray Huppets takes the easiest of marks at uh, half forward. Huppets has now gone for a hand pass. North Melbourne mess it up, though. But they're still in the... Uh, in the van with the opportunity up towards the forward line again. Out they come, tapped forward by Baker. He can't do much with it though. Drops the ball. Kelvin Moore recovers quickly for Hawthorne and kicks the Hawks out of danger. Good safe mark there to Manane. He's off like a rocket this time. Trying to create that loose man as it goes over the centre half forward position. Ball punched away that time by Sutton. Picked up beautifully. Spun of the pack like a real champ. He was grabbed. The umpire's call play on Glenn Denning that time. Muppets goes down. He can't get it out. He tries to get it out there. We see Russo just about pushed at the back and he'll get a free kick. Free kick to Russo at centre half forward against Big Mick Null. Russo getting it up there towards the full forward position. It's a bit long for Moncrief and it's through for one point. That was a good kick from Russo. It's a lovely kick, Peter. And we see uh, Hawthorne three goals, 3.21. To North Melbourne, two goals, 2.14. A difference of seven points. And we're at the 20 uh, minute mark of this first quarter. Ball back into play by Glenn Denning. 
Out towards Tuck and Blight. A bit of pushing and shoving going there as we see Huppert's doing a great job. Gets a hand pass out. It's a bit wide for Alves, but he's got it. He bounces it actually. It's holding the ball against him. How did about that one? Dan Alves uh, should have had the uh, hand pass a lot quicker than that because there was a North Melbourne player waiting by. Now Tuck to take the free kick. A little short of the wing position. At the back this time, it's Sutton. Oh, it's smothered by Matthews. Picked up by Glenn Denning. And sheer strength gets him through. But there we see Ablett, he couldn't hold the muck. That's two he's dropped in a row. Finally picked up by North Melbourne's Burn at half back. At the back is DeWall going for the big punch. Coming in as Huppert again. He's doing a great job for North Melbourne, this little uh, ex foot spray row. But his kick is smothered. He's not giving it as the ball comes back to Burn again. A long kick up there towards Brightus. He's got the mark. And Brightus would be about 60 metres out. A little bit hesitant. There doesn't know what to do with it. Mick Nolan coming off and Smith on for North Melbourne. OK, Nolan off the ground and Smith on. Up towards Baker again. He's misjudging his marks. The ball comes back to... Uh, to was it Boyce trying to get out there? Pushed in the back and get a free... No, the ball against him. And the free kick will go to Pate. The crowd not too happy about that, particularly the North Melbourne supporters. Only the North Melbourne supporters. Well, only the North Melbourne supporters. At night at the back, got the sit here and he takes them. His name was written all over that one. And by golly, you can't do that to him because he never drops them, the high flyer. There's a hand pass out the tuck, it wasn't too good, but this fella recovers beautifully. To get it back, a bad kick, backing up well as Cout, and Crazy Horse in a bit of trouble there, and a hand pass coming out now to, uh, to Keith Gregg, but he can't force it out, and finally we see the ball taken away now, over to Ablett, and the ball driven up there towards Moncrief and Glenn Denning, it's a bit long for both of them, and the ball is out of bounds on the full, and a penalty free kick will go down there to Glenn Denning in the back pocket, as we see the scoreboard. 21 points Hawthorne to North Melbourne, 14 points. That's a superb kick from Glendinning. Again, the players with the sun in their eyes and a good safe mark brought down by Adler. That's the first one he's held after having spilled a couple earlier on. Hawthorne wing player. That's a wobbly looking kick, not as good as Glendinning's and it gives the opportunity to Darrell Sutton to take a safe mark in defence as the kick dropped uh, a fair bit short. 14 players, 21. Hawthorne leading by seven points, but it's early days yet. Knights from behind, pissing the ball well away. It's over the boundary line, beating all comers, but the umpire has picked out a free kick in the meantime. And who's it going to? Now it's being thrown in. I thought he indicated a free kick. My mistake. Martello from behind. Uh, Blue and Grab were not in possession. He'll take the free kick for North Melbourne. That right half back, deciding to play on straight away. Looking for Brightus. Walter over the top. Could have given away a free kick, though. Deepy Domenico trying to smother the ball. Can't get it clear of the pack, and that's understanding. Now it's picked up by Walter for Hawthorne. No, not a very good kick, but uh, it bounces right for Hawthorne eventually. Manane, Ablett, who's well shepherded. Now he's clear. That's a better kick from him this time. Looking for Moncrief and Scott, but uh, getting up high was Sutton. In fact, if he left that go, I think that would have been over the line on the full. As it is, it's going to be thrown back into play in Hawthorne's forward pocket, with the clock showing just over 23 minutes gone in the first quarter. A pretty congested Hawthorne forward line as Scott and McCann contest the ruck duel. Scott pushed McCann out, trying to do it on his own. Grabbed by Cowton. Drops the ball. Cowton's free kick. Oh, Scott's uh, claiming he popped one there. I don't know whether he did or not. The umpire's not having a bar of it. Let's watch it on the replay. I think Scotty handed it up a bit. I reckon. I think he thought he might have been pinched himself. We're waiting now for the ball to get down. Oh, it's a bit of a battle going on there, and the ball is out of bounds. Free kick uh, to Wells. A bustling or a push in the back, was it, Bob? Holding the man, Luke. Holding the man. Then we see the uh, ball driven back now towards Simmelbush. He's got the mark right there on the wing position. Simmelbush going back to take a kick, and I should imagine he'll go for a long one here. Yes, he gets it well over the centre half forward position. No one can take that mark. It comes down to Matthews overran. Now, this Smith trying to pick it up. He's grabbed by Walter, loses the ball, picked up by Wallace. He loses the game. A lot of fumbling going on, but the umpires found a free kick to Wallace until he was grabbed too high at the back of the net. Wallace there at half-back. Looking for Martello, surrounded by North Melbourne players. And he marked that one. The umpire's paid a free kick at any rate. He beat the three of them. Still think that uh, Hawthorne are playing the more aggressive football as the ball is kicked well up towards uh, Sutton and Scott. Punched away by Sutton. There's a go for Moncrief. Already kicked to free kick. And a free kick to Moncrief. Again, Sutton that time, and he'll take the free kick right on the boundary line. He's only about uh, 15 metres out. Lou, uh, Ron Barassi has shifted Elves off Ablett and brought him across the other side as we watch the replay as Sutton gives away the free kick. Uh, Moncrief got one right in the stomach. Yeah, look, could have been a bit doubtful that one, but still he's got the ball and he's laughing all the way to the bank. 
of course, a very difficult shot, but at least one thing in his favour, he's a right footer. He would be able to hook this ball around a bit. The kick. Let's see, I think he's put it through. Yes, that's his third goal. Beautiful goal by Mark Green. A magnificent goal. That would certainly get three goals in the first quarter. That's not about. There's the replay of that shot again on the boundary line. And as I suggested for a right footer, he hooked it round nicely. And we see Hawthorne in a very nice position. The four goals, 3.27 to North Melbourne, 2-3-14. Uh, 26 minutes gone of this uh, first quarter of the 1978 Grand Final. Hawthorne runner Norm Lord on the field as the ball is bounced once more. A chance for Schimmelbush, but he fumbles. Tackled by Hendry. Matthews comes in to lend a bit of weight to the situation. Wallace's kick is up to half forward. Russo got two hands to it, but couldn't mark it. Keith Gregg comes in. Socket off the ground for Hawthorne. It's pretty close to the goal mouth. Scott has given away a free kick, I think. And it will be taken by Sutton right in the goal square. Now he's coming out towards the member stand side. Looking out there for Melrose, who's been one of North Melbourne's better players with Huppert so far in the quarter. Their two Rovers have done pretty well. Well, Polkinghorn came out like a steam train but didn't mark the ball. Now, what this is for, I do not know. It's a free kick to Polkinghorn, unless it was for a charge. But, uh, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit surprised myself, Peter. Well, Polkinghorn has uh, done a shocker insofar as the kick is concerned. It's up to half forward. Russo taps it out, but it's intercepted by Greg. He gets bowled over, if you don't mind. Couldn't pick up the ball. Scott lends his weight to the situation. And by golly, I wouldn't like to be out there right now. I'll tell you that. He can he pick it up? He uh, almost got buffeted over. Here comes Matthews, and he goes over as well. Tackled but not in possession, and it's Matthews' his free kick. Well, he earned that. That was sheer professional football from Matthews. He could hear the footsteps, so to speak, although Matthews never hears footsteps in that regard. Let's watch it again as Matthews prepares to take his kick. There he is. Heard him coming and uh, let go of the ball. And that's a shot for goal. Is all clear. Lee Matthews' his first goal. Hawthorne notch up their fifth. And so Hawthorne getting a handy lead at the moment, but... Uh, there's plenty of time to go yet. 5-3, 33, Hawthorne, North Melbourne, 2-2, two, two, 14. Well, they're not at a battle. They're certainly wearing uh, North Melbourne down at the moment. Their forward line's playing a very aggressive football, which it's usually the other way around. It's the defence that goes in so hard, but their forward line is really meaning business. And, of course, back to the centre will be Walter against, uh, this time, uh, coming across as little Huppets against him. And actually, Walter got that out. Finally, it's forced out by Tanner going after his boys. A left foot kick up towards that full forward zone. Baker gets up high, couldn't hold the mark over to Brightus. He fumbles, they're fumbling badly down there. Brightus is grabbed by the leg, he'll get one on the back. Now the umpire's still calling play on. And finally, it's picked up by Di Pierre Domenico. He's played a pretty good first quarter, Di Pierre Domenico, too, on Arnold Brightus, even though Brightus has had a couple of kicks. Tanner bounds there on that uh, half forward line for North Melbourne, about 75 metres around from their goal. Ball back into play. Walter and McCann coming at the back. Well, actually, Walter gets it back over to uh, Wallace. Back to Henry again. A very hurried kick by Henry. A chance for uh, Greg to mark. He doesn't mark that one. There's a go for Lee Matthews. Right on the boundary. Not if he can pick it up. Umpire said it's out of bounds. Out of bounds. This time it's on Hawthorne's half-forward line. And uh, they're gradually, at the moment, wearing uh, North Melbourne down with the tougher type of football. Knocked that that turn by Martello. Down it comes to uh, Huppets. A very short kick and a chance for uh, Tuck to get it, but it's out of bounds again. Actually, it's not a tremendously fast game. Uh, is that? Well, it's uh, it's more. Uh, it's a pressure game. Well, it's it? a pressure game, and I think uh, this is suiting Hawthorne's style of football too, because it's a bit close knit, and uh, North Melbourne can't break into their normal style of play on game, and that's certainly suiting Hawthorne at the moment. And there's the siren for the end of the first quarter of the 1978. Grand final brought to you live by Channel 7. And the score, Hawthorne, five goals, 3.33 to North Melbourne. Two goals, 2.14. So, just about set for the second quarter. This term, Hawthorne kicking towards the left of screen. And I noticed that Mick Nolan is out there on the ground again. They've taken Nick Mick off once, and uh, he was replaced by uh, Smith. North Melbourne used this ploy earlier in the year with uh, Nolan and Keenan. Second quarter of the 1978 Grand Final, umpire Bill Deller coming in to bounce the ball. Nolan and Scott, well, no, neither really got an effective tap out there. Two Hawthorne players collide just as well because uh, one of them has a free kick, that's Matthews. And Matthews kick up towards half forward, looking there for Walter, who goes pretty high but couldn't mark the ball. 
Schimmelbush with the chance for North Melbourne to boot them out of danger, and he does so to centre half forward. Ball knocked away into the hands of Wallace, picked up by Pockinghorn. Pockinghorn to half forward, and that is a mark to Schimmelbush once more. The vice captain for North Melbourne does it well, gets grabbed a little bit too high, but the umpire said play on, and that was a good decision too. And his kick into the North Melbourne attacking zone now. Plenty of chances here, but the one to bring the ball down, the only Hawthorne man that went up was Kelvin Moore. Hawthorne fullback. Ball will land just right at the centre wing position. McCann must be paid the mark. And Stephen McCann, come Ruck Rover, half forward. Ruckman, whatever you like, that's Blight's second kick for the game. If he fires, North Melbourne will get back into it. There's a mark to almost Baker. Or who's he playing it to? We'll wait and see. I think it is Baker's mark. It's the first he's taken for the day. One of the best marks in the league, Baker, if he, uh, if he can fly. And let's take a look at it on the replay while he goes back for his kick. Yes, no doubt about Baker's mark. And he lines up the kick from 30 metres out. Directly in front pretty well. Shouldn't have any trouble in scoring a goal, but he has, strangely enough. He's put it through for one point. Well, that's always been Phil Baker's downfall. He's a great mark, but doesn't always kick accurately. One point to North Melbourne, taking them to 2 3 15. Hawthorne 5 3 33. Minute gone of this second quarter, and they're 18 points in front, Hawthorne. All out there in the crowd. Hawthorne sitting in a good position at the moment. They've been their most uh, aggressive side so far. So they'll have to get a new ball. I think the, as the policeman, the policeman threw it in. I think now for Calvin Moore, who's had a great season with uh, Hawthorne. The ball out wide, looking for Don Scott. McNolan's after it. Put, no, it bounces high. Scott's got it, but he's in trouble. Simmerbush grabbed him. Ball comes back to Abbott. He's trying to get it. He's grabbed by Simmerbush and holding the man against uh, Simmerbush. Abbott to take the free kick out there at half back. A nice kick by Ablett. Down there towards uh, Martell at the back as Greg goes for the punch. Backing up well as Russo. He's in trouble. He's grabbed by Greg. Greg's uh, doing a great job there. Coming after it. Won't give in. He's on the boundary line. He's still got it in play, but it's picked up again by Russo. Hooks the ball back over towards Alves and uh, Rodney Eden. A good mark to Alves. Alves to take that mark. Right on the edge of the square, just about at centre-half back. Stan Alves playing in his second grand final. His 250th game. A shocking kick. That one over to Tuck having a bit of trouble picking it up. Schimmelbush was...